schedule. So this now you have watched um, in the importance of physical quantities in our daily life. So let's take a slide. So physics is the study of matter and energy as well as phenomena happening around us. So you um, so you have learned physics in country, so you can um, physics more interesting. So these are the content standards and the problem standard. Then we have a read on the back and then the subject content. So the subject content um, so we are referring to the IGCSD syllabus. So physical quantities. So, so this is the uh, I have simplified this for you. So physical quantity we have base quantity as well as derived quantity. So what is base quantity? So this quantity is a physical quantity which cannot be derived from another physical quantity. So we have seven base quantities and they are time, length, current. Thermodynamic temperature, mass, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. So for each of these, it will have their own symbol. So L, mass for mass, and time, capital, smaller T, and capital T, or sometimes we use theta. I for electric current, luminous intensity. IV, quite similar to two, but with IV here, and amount of substance. And each of these physical quantities has its own uh, SI unit. So these are the name of the SI unit. And the SI unit has its own symbol. So we have two different symbols here. So I hope you don't uh, confuse yourself. So which symbol we are referring to. Because in the examination or sometimes when you want to mention something, you, for example, you want to refer to length, but you write M. So this M is the symbol for meter, not length. Okay, so make, make sure you know that. Okay, and then we look at the uh, derived quantity. So what are derived quantity? Derived quantity uh, is a quantity that is obtained. by multiplying or dividing two or more these quantities okay so let's look at the example we have four examples here so let's look at density so density the symbol is raw raw and the unit uh, the, the formula is mass over volume as you can see there so mass is a base quantity, volume is a derived quantity, and you get volume from L times L times L, and each L is base quantity. So we have four base quantities all together, and we uh, get the derived quantity. Okay, when we talk about physical quantity, we should be talking about the units. Okay, and you must know that um, units have we have metric units and we have imperial units. Okay. But before that, okay, when we have physical quantity, we must have magnitude and unit. So, for example, we have hundred meters. Hundred is the magnitude, and m is the unit. So, what is magnitude? So, make sure you know what magnitude is. Usually, I refer this as value. Okay, sometimes students know how to say this one, but they don't even know what the, the, the meaning of magnitude. Okay. So, imperial units and metric units. Okay. Imperial units actually an old British system of measuring units. Right. So, you can read all this and uh, the, the history behind it. Okay. And some imperial measurements remain in limited use in Australia, India, Malaysia, and New Zealand, especially in real estate industry. Okay, we talk about food, feet, and so on. Okay, and it ha uh, a lot of efforts has uh, have implemented to implement metric system where we have now. So, for example, uh, I have a few examples here. So, um, 
For example, we have length, okay, inches, foot, yard, furlong, and mile, uh, imperial units. And centimeters, meters, and kilometers, uh, metric units. Okay, so we use these. These are metric units. Okay, these are metric units. So square centimeter, in physics, usually we write this one, this way. Millimeters squared. Alright. And the, the, the first rows, here, these are examples of imperial units. Okay, just for your information. Alright, so and then, when we, and then we need to talk about scala and vector quantity. Scala quantity mean, it means that a quantity that has magnitude only. Remember about magnitude just now? Value only, for example. Okay, and a vector quantity, a quantity that has magnitude and also direction. For example, displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, and etc. So, I, can, uh, I, give you an, I give you an example. So, let's say this is your, uh, where are you from? Okay, point A, and then you want to go to point B, right? So, so this is north, and then south, east, west. So, B is located at southeast of A. So, if you just, if you don't mind about the uh, direction, you just, uh, the, if let's say a girl travels from A to B, and this is the the path taken, the road taken. So let's say the road takes a uh, 950 meters. So that's the distance, and that is a scalar quantity. However, if you are asked about the displacement, the, the displacement, the displacement is the is this distance. Let's say 800 meters, and you must mention the direction. So the displacement is 800 meters to the south east. Or you can say A and B. You can say B is 800 meters south east of A. So that's how we say it. So that's vector quantity. Okay, now we move on to length, length and time. Okay, so this, I'm sure that you are familiar with this. The length, nothing new. You have learned this one in low, uh, in form 1. You use a ruler to measure length for distances between 1 millimeter and 1 meter. And then we have a micrometer screw gauge. So this is an example of micrometer screw gauge. And nowadays we have digital one. You can also buy that at DIY. Okay. So micrometer screw gauge, the name tells you the function. It measures distance or length of small, the smaller length. Okay. And the SI unit is meter. And then for length also, we use length also to, uh, to calculate volume. For regular object, we use mathematical formula. We, we, we talk about volume just now. How, however, if we have an irregular object, okay, we can use this method. So what method is this? This is, if you still remember about this, this is water displacement method. Eureka can, remember? Okay, you, when, when you put an object in a water, the water displaced, the water level rise, and the displaced water is actually the volume. Okay, and then time. Alright, so we are done with this uh, lesson. So next, uh, your 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 work is your task is to go to awesome apps. You need to download the uh, the apps, and then please do the formative test before we meet next class. Okay, please answer question, and this is to check your understanding. Right. See you. Assalamualaikum.